Morning, focus. In previous videos, we have discussed indices including zero indices, uh, negative indices, fractional indices, and laws of indices. And uh, we also discussed what is logarithms and the laws of logarithms. In these videos and the following videos, we are going to discuss equations of indices and logarithms. Uh, these are the equations that involve uh, indices or uh, logarithms as one of the terms or all the terms uh, in the equations. Okay, so let's start with this one. Solving equations with index number one. Let's say we have an equations and uh, inside these equations we have two index terms. 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of y. In this case, uh, we can see that the base of these two indices numbers are the same. Therefore, uh, if the base of these two index are the same, then the index or the exponents must also be the same. Okay, And uh, in this case, x must be equal to y. Eh? x equal to y. Therefore, uh, we can conclude that if a to the power of x equal to a to the power of y, then x must be equal to the y, provided that uh, a is not equal to 0 or a is not equal to 1. Why? Well, let's see this example. Um, 0 squared equal to 0 and uh, 0 cubed equal to 0. And therefore, uh, we can tell that so 0 squared equal to 0 cubed, even though their index are not the same. Okay, The index not the same, but the index number still can be equal. Eh? Okay, And therefore, this law don't apply to a equal to 0 and uh, it's the same for uh, a equal to 1, okay? 1 square equal to 1 and a 1 cube also equal to 1 and therefore 1 square equal to 1 cube even though the index are not the same, okay? The index number can still be the same, okay? So this law doesn't apply to uh, a equal to 0 uh, and a equal to 1, okay? Uh, for all other space, yes, we can apply this law, okay? Let's see this example. Okay, solve the following. Okay, let's start with a. We have 6 to the power of x plus 1 equal to 6 to the power of 5. And we learn that if the base are the same, then straight away so we can tell that uh, the index must also be the same. Okay. Um, x plus 1 equal to 5 and therefore x equal to 4. Okay, and a b, 16x equal to 8 square. Okay, um, in this case the base are not the same. Yeah, the base are not the same. Anyways, uh, we can try to see whether we can change the base or not. Now we know that 2 to the power of, uh, sorry, 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 4 and then x and 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 okay and then square to remove these brackets so we multiply 4 by x so 2 to the power of 4 x equal to uh, 2 to the power of 3 times 2 6 uh, 2 to the power of 6 now the base become the same right Okay, both of them uh, are two, uh, the base for these two index numbers. And therefore, uh, we can tell that 4x equal to 6 and x equal to 6 over 4 or uh, 3 over 2. And if you like, you, you can put this as a mixed number, 1, 1 over 2. Okay. Let's continue with uh, question C. C, 27x times 3 to the power of x plus 1 equal to 81. Okay. The unknowns is in the index or exponents and therefore um, to solve these problems, we need to try to change the base so that they are all the same. Okay, so here, the lowest base is 3, and then we have 27. 
So you should know that 3 square equal to 9 and uh, 3 cubed equal to 27 and 3 to the power of 4 equal to 81. So this is uh, 3 cubed x and then uh, multiply by 3 to the power of x plus 1 and equal to 81. 81 is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Okay, And uh, for this one, this is uh, 3 to the power of 3x okay multiplications of index numbers is equal to the additions of the index huh? so 3x plus 1 and then plus uh, x plus 1 and equal to 3 to the power of 4 um, this 3x plus x 4x huh? 4x plus 1 equal to 3 to the power of 4 and therefore 4x plus 1 equal to 4 and uh, 4x equal to 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3, and therefore x equal to 3 over 4. Okay, that's how we solve the problems. And the last questions, D, D, 64x times 16 minus 200 and 56 equal to zero okay well again uh, we have a index which is unknown which is an unknown and uh, just now we learned that to solve these problems we need to make the base the same okay let's uh, see what's the base for all these three numbers let's try four four we know that 4 squared equal to 16, and then so 4 cubed equal to 64, yes. And a 4 to the power of 4 equal to 256. Okay, great. Okay, so um, 64 equal to 4 cubed. So 4 cubed, and then so 2 to the power of x multiplied by 16 equal to 4 squared. 4 square okay and let's move this negative uh, or minus 256 to the right hand side it become 256 and 256 equal to 4 to the power of 4 so 4 to the power of 4 okay and uh, this will become 4 3 to 4 to the power of 3x plus 2 equal to 4 to the power of 4 and therefore 3x plus 2 equal to 4 3x equal to 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2, and therefore x equal to 2 over 3. Okay, so that's how we solve the problem. Well, let's see another example. Solve each of the following. Um, these two look more complicated than the previous one. Uh, anyway, the methods to solve the problem is the same. Okay. So 4 to the power of n plus 1 equal to 64, 4 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, again, uh, the unknown is in the index or exponents, and therefore, to solve the problem, we need to make the base uh, the same, okay? So this is 64 over 4 to the power of n minus 1. And then to solve this problem, we uh, shift this to the left uh, by uh, multiplying 4 to the power of n plus 1 with uh, 4 to the power of n minus 1. So 4 to the power of n plus 1, shift this to the left, become multiplications times 4 to the power of n minus 1 and equal to 64. Now, just now we learned that 4 to the power of 3 or 4 cubed equal to 64. So 64 equal to 4 cubed. Okay. Um, so both of these uh, have the same base and therefore we can combine them together. n plus 1 and n plus n minus 1 equal to 4 cubed. And uh, n plus n, we have 2n. And then uh, positive 1 plus negative 1 becomes 0. So this is equal to 4 cubed. And therefore, 2n equal to 3 and n equal to 3 over 2 or 1, 1 over 2. Okay, let's see the second questions. 
So b uh, square root of 3 times 9 to the power of x equal to 1 over 27x plus 1. Okay, so again we know that 3 to the power of 1 equal to 3, 3 squared equal to 9, and 3 cubed equal to 27. And then we also see that uh, the unknown is in the index. And therefore, uh, to solve the problem, we must make the base the same. Okay, right? Okay, so we have um, 3. Okay, 9 is uh, 3 squared. So we have 3 squared. And then times x, uh, 3 squared. Uh, 3 to the power of 2x. And then uh, this is a square root. And we know that for square root is equal to, uh, the, to the power of uh, 1 over 2. Uh, Okay, and then uh, equal to, okay, we have 27. 27 is uh, equal to 3 cubed. So we have 1 over 3 cubed. And then uh, x plus 1, right? Okay, to solve these problems, uh, now the base are the same. Eh? The base are the same. So uh, let's put all this together. So 3 times uh, 3 to the power of 2x, this will be equal to 3, 1 plus 2x, uh, 1 plus 2x, and then uh, to the power of 1 over 2, okay, equal to, um, for this one, okay, we can see that uh, we, we change this to a negative index, then we can uh, eliminate this uh, reciprocal form, uh, okay, so so this is equal to 3 to the power of negative 3 x plus 1. Okay, x plus 1. So now the base uh, become the same and therefore we can tell that 1 over 2 times 1 plus 2 x is equal to negative 3 x plus 1. Okay, um, so we move this to to the right hand side it becomes well, one, 1 plus 2x equal to um, negative 6 uh, times x plus 1 and uh, let's expand this so it becomes negative 6x minus 6 uh, okay so we shift this negative 6x to the left it becomes 2x plus 6x and then we also uh, shift this uh, 1 to the right hand side it becomes uh, negative 6 minus 1 okay so this become 8x and this become negative 7 and therefore x equal to negative 7 over 8 okay so um, this is how we solve the problems where index number is uh, a terms or all the terms inside an equations okay